When you deep dive in an ocean, do you see stroke of it's small, mashallah? Sorry? When anyone deep dives in the ocean, do they actually see You see it get, you see it get darker, yes. But how do you know if you go stroke of Because you have a brain. Let him do it. You have a brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which, which brain I think, I think, individual I think, I think, talks about this? You should expect people who have been in their oceans all their life to talk about it. Yeah? Scientists, for example, of... Yeah, I actually that's, that's quite an obvious point. Yeah, so which scientists talked about it? From where? That there was total darkness in the deepest of the oceans. I, I'm not familiar with all 4,000 years of science. Uh, I don't think you so are either. But, you, but again, expect it's quite easy to, it's quite easy to just figure out. You'd expect them to say this, right? It's easy to figure out. You'd expect them to say it's that? It's easy to figure out. Yeah. Very easy. Okay, what about deep into Firstly, you couldn't provide anything, no problem. You can look into it. I don't it. need to, you could, we can no. all do that right now. You may declare you're using our brain to figure that out. Remember, using our brain to when figure you asked out. me what, very simple. like, are you sure no one knew about it? But it's very so simple. I'm asking the same question. This one's are you simple. sure this one's someone very knew about it? This one's very simple. Is it? Yes, of course it is. Use your brain. So your brain can tell you that in the deep, deep oceans there's total darkness. You could use your brain. You know that it's obviously lighter as you go up from where we are. As you go down, it's going to get darker. Yeah. So you'd expect... Yeah, you don't know. But, but why do you think he knows? Why you, do you assume Mohammed was stupid? Look, look, I don't. You'd expect people to have known this. Why not? But why is that difficult to figure out? One second. You know that You know that do if you, you go in two meters of water, do you agree? ten, it's got, there's less light, so it gets darker. Why is that difficult to figure out? Why would it go up so dark? Because there's no light. How do you know light totally? How do you know there's no back? light? That's the point. How do you know there's no light? The same way, you, the same way you. There do. could You've be objects brain. down there that make light. That does, doesn't mean it's not dark. When you when you says there's the some ocean, people there. You, look at the ocean, you, see anything down you don't see after darkness. You can see as much as you can see. No, but you can extrapolate very simply. No. When you say it gets <laughs> darker as you go down, it's not we would expect some people who live their life in the oceans, they should have talked about it. Who live their life in the ocean? Who's talking about? Don't people go and have their fishing and everything in the oceans? Why well, fishermen? Oh, sure. Okay. And scientists who study. So you would expect something. So what I would like you to do again, you know, because you, you are very someone who's inquisitive in your mind, go and find out 1400 years ago from that time backwards. Yeah, I, don't think it's, I don't think you need some scientist to tell you that. It's just common sense. It's very common sense. Okay. Very common sense. Um, is the universe. Static or expanding? So we're going to, diff we're going to a different no, topic now. I was okay. talking about no common problem. sense. Yeah, common yeah, yeah. sense. Is the universe static or expanding? According to me. No, according to common sense. Uh, expanding. No, static. I'm like an M, just looking at it, it's static. According to common sense. Not necessarily. According to common sense. So you can you see the universe have an expanding, right? Or anything like your head. You are so clever, so you look at the universe, you look at the, the skies and the universe expanding. If you believe, yeah, definitely. Certainly if you believe in okay. God. Because if you believed in God, you'd say, well, he created it. Right. So uh, maybe he expanded it, moved things out of the way, right? Expanded Now you're Once guessing. I'm not guessing. Common you're going sense, against right? what you see. Nothing looks expanding to me right now. Can no, anyone see the universe expanding? So appearances can be deceiving, right? Okay, raise your hand okay, so if you think the universe so is expanding by looking at it. If it was common sense, you would expect most people, because common sense is able, available within most people. So why are most of the people, here's a question, ask him, can he see the universe expanding? So Allah has no common sense. So now, you brought common sense. Did anyone talk about the universe expanding before the 7th century? One moment. Absolutely. One moment. One moment. We are talking about common sense. Yeah? Common sense tells you when you look at the universe, is the universe expanding? What does common sense tell you? Well, it depends on your background. I no, say common sense, not background. Common sense. Yeah, you could say that. Common sense. Yeah. So tell me, what you part of say, your common sense I'll directs you, you that the universe you. is expanding? I'll tell you. You could look at yourself you as a because everyone's self. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. could look That's at yourself as mean. a being, and you could see how you started off small and you grew. You can extrapolate that to everything else you see, because it is true of everything else you see. Everything else natural starts off small and grows, and perhaps the universe. There you go, answer. I didn't quite follow. Do you mind explaining again? Okay. I lost. Okay. Here's how you could, by common sense, do, uh, get, get to un an expanding universe. Yeah. You could look at yourself yeah. and every other living thing, which sure. starts off small and grows. <laughs> you could say that same thing for the universe. It expands. And that, that's why there was expansion. The ideas of expansion far yeah, before the 7th century. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the yeah. Earth? Yeah, common sense. Okay. Is the Earth... Oh, is, is, is the Earth... I look at the Earth. Yeah. I look at myself. 
So I should see the I girl. know what you're going to say. I didn't say that had to be the way. One I said, moment. through common sense, you could come up with it. No, common sense. Through common so sense, I look at common sense. Now, let's use some common sense. So I look at everything's growing. So the earth must be growing as well. Is the earth increasing? You're, you're, that's not what I said. You're misrepresenting what I said. What am I, what I, am I missing? Say, I did not say that there's a one-to-one -one correlation. You have to believe that everything therefore grows. I said through common sense, you could easily come to the conclusion. So that the through common sense, expanding. I universe. can easily come to the conclusion the earth is expanding, right? Yes, you could. You'd be yeah. wrong, but you could. Now, why am I wrong? Because it is. So it's against common sense? Uh, you're misrepresenting what I'm saying again. I didn't say, you. therefore you have to apply this to everything. I'm saying you could apply this to the universe. Yeah. How long did the universe, uh, the scientists come to use their common sense to find out the universe is expanding? It should have been common sense to all people, even the Greeks, right? Greeks, Romans, Persians. To people before the 7th century, did anyone before the 7th century believe in the expansion of the no. universe? Let me ask you this question again. Yes, they did. So. The scientists from 7th century, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 20th century, before right? Before that. 19th century. So let's take from the 7th to the 19th century. The scientists who have common sense, according to you, they knew the universe is expanding, right? They must have. Watch my back. Which scientist came up that, according to our common sense, the universe is expanding? Scientists from the east, west, middle? So Allah was the scientist. Yeah. That's the problem. In, that's the ignore, ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. So now we realize, now we realize, there's a limit. There's a limit to common sense. You cannot use your common sense and to say the universe is expanding, because people, because people were quite firm to say the universe is static. It took, it took a lot of scientific revolution to convince the people, scientists, to say that the universe is not static. When they looked at the red shift, when they looked at the red shift, how the stars are receding from each other, and now the cosmic background radiation. Then they became convinced that actually, no, the universe is not static. The universe is ex expanding. So I've given you two Which, examples. Was there far before the Quran, yeah. No, no more. The, the, the Bible, Sir, you, 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 you can read the Bible that way. Talk about the expa uh, expanding the universe. I'm yes, talking about common yes, sense. Common sense, right? You're jumping all over the place. No, I'm not jumping all over the place. Well, you have, you have. My claim is that before the Quran, oh, people talk about expanding universe. Universe. And there you go. So, so, so nothing miraculous. Rubbish. Who's talking about miracles? Okay, getting it right. So did the Bible. Which you don't yeah. So, so remember what I said. So the Bible says it too. So uh, can you not? Can, can you not shut it down? Yes. Allah created okay. The Bible says it too. So so. Okay. So now what I'm asking is. The concept of the concept of probabilities and guesswork. If if let me establish what I mean by that. If someone is just merely guessing, which, I, which I'm not said, is, is only happening, of course. If someone hearing is hearing things and learning, hearing. So if someone is hearing as well, they would have known, and they would have made statements which, by our current knowledge, would have known that it was wrong. Just like how they believe in the preformation theories of how the human embryo developed in the womb of the mothers. The Bible talks about how the menstrual blood is involved in the procreation of a human being, curdling like the cheese and so on, which we know to be incorrect. The Quran should have picked this up. Yeah, yeah. You should find out what it says exactly about the menstrual blood. Where does it say anything about curling cheese? I mean, it's common knowledge now. If you don't know, you can, I can give it to you. Yeah, but what please, I'm saying please is... Please do. I'd like to read that. I, no, no, no. What that I'm before. asking you, I want you to go and research this topic and ask yourself. If the Quran is not simply guessworking, making guesswork, it's also taking information from what is known, it should have taken that information as well, which was common knowledge. That yes, menstrual blood is how the curling of cheese happens. This is what exactly menstrual blood does. Right. But the Quran doesn't talk about that. So somehow it's filtering something that is wrong. And it's talking about how the embryo develops in stages, creation after creation, which is now knowledge to us with our science and technology. So guesswork and information borrowing doesn't help. But what I want to make this, this point is, when the Quran gives you examples after examples after examples, getting 
all of it right when it got it wrong, the possibility of guesswork goes down. And when we look at the information content that was available at that time, at that period, and we compare what the Quran is talking about, At-Tariq, the example I gave you about the hammering sound of the yeah. pulsars, I can give you many examples. I've given you four maybe so far. What I'm establishing is this principle. Yeah. How is the Quran able to describe information which we now know to be correct and it was not possible for people to have known this unaided? You didn't talk about how the Quran talks about deep interoceanic waves. Okay. I've, how did they get to know that? Yeah, uh, what's the verse there? Tell me the verse. Yeah. Uh, I've not. Does it use the phrase deep oceanic waves? Yeah. Bahrun Lujji. Which yeah. means what? Deep oceans. Okay, deep oceans. Yeah. Okay, that's not, deep sea. Not, that's not. Uh, when I, when I say on, it's the, not shallow seas. Yeah, yeah. The, yep. The Covered by waves. But what's the verse? Twenty-four forty. Can I read it? I've, I've not heard this. Are you mind if I read it? Yeah, yeah. I'll give you the full verse. You can read it from the Quran itself. So the Bible is written way before Quran. Okay. And the Bible is talking about the deep, deep ocean. It's like the Bible is rubbish. So it says darkness deep, in the deep, deep sea. Ocean. That's not impressive. So Covered by waves. Quran is uh, copying, you're, you're, copying from the Bible. This is the Quran. Know. I just feel like the way you describe it is really not like what it says. Hang on. You're sort of adding. You're, you're sort I'm of not adding. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to add anything. I'm going to just read. I'm going to just read and see what you understand. Well, I just read it. Sure. It said deep. No, no. You haven't read the full verse. They only quoted. Well, I, in, I, what you showed me, but yeah. Yeah, but this is what I'm going to show you now. Okay. Quran, yeah, translation, Arabic and English. So I'll just read the English okay. translation for you. Or like utter darkness in the deep sea, there covers a wave above which is another wave, above which is a cloud. Okay, layers of darkness. Nothing there about. Oh, sorry. Where, um, where were these deep oceanic I, waves you were talking about? I, I missed I, them. I must have missed I, that one. You need to read and understand what you read. Okay, I apologize. I tried right? to go on. Go on. So it talks about how there are waves U upon waves upon waves. Sure. Wait, waves. Nothing about deep in the, in the covered ocean. by waves. Nothing about covered by clouds. Yeah. So clouds, waves, and waves. Yeah, waves. Like you can go to the seaside and see waves upon waves. But go on. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. This is not about waves upon waves. This is what we're That's talking not about. What you just said. No, no. Fawqihi. Look. Maujun min fawqihi maujun min fawqihi sahab. So the words that are you one above the other. So this, the wave that you see, yeah. it's just one wave just no, no, splashing. No, one wave goes on the other, then the other like that, and that's how. No, no, yeah. yeah. You, you don't have waves. Go to the you don't have. That's what you, see. Yeah. you don't have waves upon which is waves upon which is oh, waves. Oh, sure you do. Waves come in and out. Another one on top. Another one on top. Go to the seaside the and you'll see it. If there's some waves, you'll look, see look, it. Look. Nothing there about deep oceanic waves. I knew it. You read that into there. It's not in there. Firstly, Sorry, it's not fir firstly, let's understand what the verse is saying. Okay. The clouds, right? How far is the clouds? Min So the clouds must be. It's a bit distracting. Uh, hang on. So the, when the Quran talks about waves, above which are waves and yeah. above which are clouds. So where yeah. would we expect the clouds? Just above the waves, right? Well, on your on your view, then it should go wave, wave, cloud. Like the cloud is on top of the on top of the sea. No, in my view, when the Quran describes a phenomena right. in which there's a wave, wave and clouds, right. in your understanding, right. the wave and the wave are just on top of each other. Which is yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's be consistent then in sure. this approach of hermeneutics. Sure. So the clouds should be on top of the waves, right? Well, they are. No, immediately on top of it. No, who where is it immediately? They build it. They build it. Wait, 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 hear it. Who says it's immediately? Yeah, yeah. Good. So now you're going to waves be... Waves are here wait. and clouds are there. Yeah. Waves upon waves can still be down here while clouds are up there. No. I think I think you're being consistent now. Good. So who says who says it needs to be just above each other? Right. Let's use this hermetic principle. So you have the second wave, which is the surface waves, and then the clouds. It doesn't have to be above each other. So why do we then have to have the first wave just below the first wave? It could be just like quite a distance. And that's exactly what we observe in deep oceanic currents. This is the consistent oh approach goodness. in hermeneutics. I don't know, man. I don't think there's a human on earth who would read that in English yeah. and get your interpretation at all. That is nonsense. Do you know what? That is such a gigantic Do you know, Marine stretch. biologists, 
Oh, right. Marine biologists, scientists themselves looked at this. Well, you know, maybe it sounds better in Arabic, no, no, no. in English, that sounded like waves upon waves, on, as you see at the beach, with clouds above them, not deep oceanic waves. What I'm asking, that into there, as I thought you were brother, can you come here, and just in front of me? Rock Jonah! In front of me. He's, he's, he's really um, being so listening to my ears. So, so, what I'm saying, yeah, I'm, I we need to be out. consistent. No, I am. I am. I am. I am disappointed with your hermeneutics. You. Look, I gave you an example, and being consistent. Look at the two clouds. Look at them. Look at the two clouds. Right. So, my friend, look. When the Quran describes waves, waves, clouds. Oh, yeah. Have you been to a beach when it's cloudy? Have you been to a beach when it's cloudy? Exactly. No, what I'm asking... What I am... Listen, listen, listen. That's nonsense. What I am asking... Look, it's easy to... It's, it's easy to be on denial. It's very easy to read in English. Yes. It's easy to be on denial. Do you know why? Okay. Because the other alternative is... How did the Quran get this? How did it know this? So, so my friend. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. Do you think one more. Is the natural reading in the English language? Story of Jonah is in the Bible. Hmm? Do you think the bear before the Quran? The bear before the Quran. So, do you think the Quran is the natural reading in the English language? So, in the English language, how do you understand it? No, no, no. Do you think your interpretation is the natural reading in English? Yes. Okay. Do you think to me earlier? Let's get natural analysis. Let's get a thousand English people to read that. How many will say, "Oh, this must mean waves deep in the ocean"? Okay. Zero will say. Hang on. Let's do that right now. None of them will say that. Let's do that right now. Waves upon waves. Any English person knows. Oh, that no, must no. Be waves in no, not, 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 not waves Jesus below the earth. Um, down there. Harris, you may you say missed, that. You may say you in missed, Arabic is different. You but missed I read something. It to me in you no, missed no, no, no. the natural reading in English is not what you just said. You've missed right. the crucial Listen. wording. No. I didn't say waves upon waves. We do we do I am saying waves on top of the min fawqihi. No, it's not. It's, it's not. Yes, it is. Because Muslims are deceiving you in the middle of the night. Exactly. If Muslims are deceiving you, I am not telling you the English translation is amazing. I'm so, saying the Arabic of the Quran, no, for you that, to read and understand, you would say it's amazing. Can you put that correctly in English or not? Can you put that correctly in English? English? Yes, Let's sir. put it in Chinese. Sorry? Yeah, okay, Japanese as well. No, I said, can you put it well above. into English? Above, right? Yeah, above. Watch my back. Okay. Huh? Watch my there you go, above. So it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, right. So wave can I above sister? waves, above waves. Um, okay. Sister, if you don't mind, okay? No, no sister, if you don't mind, I'm having a conversation. Don't thank you. Right, right. Okay. Describe me, describe me a mountain with guesswork. Describe me a mountain. Go on, common sense. No, you are here to answer a question, not Describe me a mountain, both of you. No, no, you are here to answer a mountain. Why? Because I'm going to use an example from the Quran, and I want to see whether... Are we on a new topic now? No, I'm giving you still the same thing. Common sense and previous information. So, mountain. But your interpretation of that, in Arabic or English, whatever, that is not the natural reading in English at all, how you put it. Do you want me to speak in Chinese now? You're missing... Don't be silly. I'm not talking about. Look, look. I'm not talking about speaking Chinese. I'm talking about you. How you related to me at the beginning? You said, "Oh, this refers to deep oceanic waves." And then in English, you said, "Oh, wave above, wave above." Wave. That's not what it says. It, that's not. You may say it says it in Arabic, "deep oceanic waves." Not in English, it doesn't. What do you say? What do you say in English? Darkness is deep. It is covered by waves. Above which are waves? Above which? Does it say upon waves or above which? No, but again. That is not the natural. You may say it means something different in Arabic, but in English, you wouldn't get yeah. deep ocean I'm telling you, the matter. Arabic and both the English tells you what then you are then in English, fighting I'll say the against. Same thing. You, exactly. you right. won't get deep ocean um, Sister, if you want to move a little bit further up, you'll down. get waves upon waves. I want to like speak to the gentleman over there. No, I want to speak to the gentleman over there. Right. Mountain, mountain. Before you go, describe me a mountain. Describe me a mountain using common sense. Describe your mountain. Yeah, common sense. Oh, that's a tough one. A, giant, a giant hill. Oh, yep. A giant, a giant hill. Inaccurate. Right. So. <laughs> Do you want to come and debate as well, or you find the camera? Yeah. Brother, well, well, come, come, come along. That's it. Now. You've got a lot to say. Come out here. I don't mind you speaking as well.
Thank you. you. I'm here. Don't you said it's incorrect. Don't yes. let Why? Question you. That's all you because need. mountains have roots. And that's okay. probably exactly the precise point we're trying to deliver to you. He never said the word you're root. He just said describe no, mountains. No, no. He asked you to describe a mountain, right. but you only described what's on top that you could see. Sure. But a mountain actually has a, de an, a far larger no root problem. to it and that goes to, way and below it. Me, and that is also and the mountain. And if you said to me, please expand greatly on your definition, I would have no, said No, you wouldn't have known that because your whole principle is that. I'll tell you why. Because when somebody tells you to describe a mountain, from yeah. your common sense, right. you did exactly what we expected, which okay. is you used your empirical faculties, you looked at what's common, which is the, your, what your eyes are showing you, okay. and that's it, and you made a decision based on that. If thinking. the Quran did the same thing, it would be incorrect. That's what we're trying to deliver it to you. It would be incorrect. It would, it would it be, be to say it it's just a hill. It's not a hill. Well, hold, fact, on, hold on, hold on. I didn't say just. You've li no, no, no. I didn't limit you my said definition. it's you a limited hill. You limited it. You, you said just. I didn't no, say no, just. You, you said it's a hill. A hill is just a hill. No, no. A hill is not just a hill. It's exactly the same thing. Stop playing semantics. It is the same thing. You're playing semantics. No, no, no. You are. The point is, is that a mountain often could even a mountain could even be larger on the side that you don't see than the, than the side How that you see above ground. That is relevant. Let me tell you why. In principle. Let me tell you why in principle it's relevant. Okay, yeah? Let me tell you in principle. I didn't live my the point uh, is, is that empir your empirical faculties, if you rely on the absolute knowledge, you could stumble upon truth. However, if that's all you're relying upon, eventually you're bound to hit inaccuracies. That's all what we're trying to say to you. Is that a fair thing to say? Yes, I agree. Okay, there's fantastic. So when we're, sure. so well, it's, how is this relevant to the mountain? It's relevant because there's many examples in the Quran that talks about natural phenomenon, which are bang on accurate. Right, when, yeah. if it was just using yes. empirical faculties, it would be eventually no, no, no. off. Or you do what, right. what just happened here, in which you tell me, oh. The Quran talks about these deep oceanic waves. I go, that's interesting. Then you show me it and it doesn't really say that. You it does read it say in. that. If no, it you doesn't don't say that. No, no, no. It it, no, we're not reading it. In. Into that it says it above say and that. you completely rejected it. And then when we used your standard, you know what's Brother, just hold us. When we used your, your hermeneutical standard and you said, oh, the clouds are all the way up there. Well, we said, okay, perfect. The wave that's below the the second wave could be all the way down there. And it says deep ocean. So where is it then? Bring up the verse again if you want to talk about that. You are reading in what it says. No, 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 we're not. It's a very natural you have, reading no, no, no. in the English language. You have a, above, above. No, 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 no. Mean, oh, okay, the waves crashing up above other waves. No, no, no. And then the you have a above clear hyper-skepticism, which no, is completely I'm, fine. Uh, but it's leading you. No, no, no. You have a yes, hyper-skepticism. Because when we're giving normal. you what, you, what you're asking for, you're not even assessing. You're absolutely just looking to any way to reject okay. it. You're not even I'm, reading I'm it being anymore. Skeptical, you're not even reading it. No, no. You could be skeptical. Which I am. You're being skeptical. However, when we're showing you that you're wrong in your you're, skepticism, you're, you're not, not moving and going not, to a different you're area of the skepticism. All you're doing you're just is reading in what, you, down. What, what these so-called deep oceanic waves. Evidence. When I see they're clearly not there, and I see in the English language, no one would come to your conclusion that oh, above uh, well, waves Well, you're above wrong waves because deep plenty of Muslims, waves. not plenty, all Muslims do come to that conclusion. Non-Muslim scientists who read the Quran, who have written books about the Quran, who ended up even accepting uh, uh, the, the Islam, like Maurice Bukai, who writes a book called the Bible and the Quran. That's the pill to authority that I don't care about. Oh, okay. So so now scientists don't matter to you. Before they did. Now it's not. So if I decide it's on the other side. No, no, no. When I bring a scientist that agrees with me, you don't want to listen to him. But when you bring a scientist that disagrees with me, I have to listen. So what is this so, double so standard, brother? It sounds brother? like you're saying, yeah. what is this? You get your side, I'll get mine, and we'll count. That, who cares about no, no, no. who the scientists do? I'm yes, saying, there are, there are you said, Islam, you said nobody reads it like Islam. that. Bro, it's not relevant to me. Please, yeah, you made a claim. You said Ignorance nobody reads it like that. I told you, not only that Muslims, or many Muslims read it like that, non-Muslim scientists do. Of course Muslims do believe it. Bro, listen, non-Muslim scientists read it like that and Muslim scientists read it like that. There's people, you don't have to be Muslim okay, to read okay. it like that. All we're telling you. So, so, so your claim is wrong. To a science that your claim is wrong. University of, uh, London, your claim is and wrong. And they read that verse, they your would say, claim incredible. Is wrong. It's talking about deep your ocean claim wave. Is wrong. What do you think? I told you. You're not listening to me. You, no, no, I am listening. No. Can Don't I talk to you? Because he's, he's no, 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 no. listening to me. You invited him in. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. No, no. And I'm no, starting no, to regret that yes, decision. Yes, you regret it. You know what? I am regretting Because I'm not dealing with this double standards and I'm not, I'm not yeah. dealing with this BS. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You made a claim. The, the BS is no, not my side. You made a claim yeah, that yeah. nobody reads it like that. Yeah. I told you Muslims okay. read it like that. You and I told you non-Muslims read it like that. Maybe you don't. Maybe you need to educate yourself on the Quran so that you do understand it like that. I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm not going to say
His interesting is going to convert his love. That is absolutely wrong. Right. So, by putting a mountain, he's a commercial art. He's a cloud, this guy. Uh, um, commercial break is over. So, my friend, the point, the point I was illustrating was when I came in, you were making the Quran it's so vague in its description what it describes. What? No, no, it's, it's not. What I'm saying is the Quran uses language that when you study the language, you will see the depth of the meaning that is oh, within the yeah, language implied. Yeah, and that, no, no, no. Which have no when, the when oh, the Quran... Does the Quran say that there are many ambiguous, there are ambiguous verses? So maybe this is one of them. When you say exactly. ambiguous, Quran talks about there are things which are mutashabihat. They yeah, are but, similar. Don't, don't use but when there... And also there are muhkam, which are no, very clear in their legal maybe, aspects maybe and so on. this is one of the ambiguous verses. No, this is not an ambiguous verse. It's very clear. It sounds ambiguous. When the Quran describes yeah, natural yeah, phenomena, natural yeah, phenomena, natural phenomena, it describes to the level of this accuracy and precision that you realize, you realize, you realize that you have to, you have to really struggle internally to reject it. No struggling on my part. Well, all that you are doing was trying to reject it. That's all you're trying to do. No, so, that, well, that so, was different. That was a different point for sure. No. So the Quran talks about now the Quran. The Quran challenges. I'm, I'm very pale. Yeah. I've got to get out of the sun at some point. Takes, have some more vitamin D, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not something that's, <laughs> I burn, I burn, it's not something that are available in London quite often. Oh, yeah. Now, Quran challenges, Quran challenges yeah. the humans and the jinns yes. and whole okay, of mankind I will bring, I will bring a verse. to produce yeah, a I chapter. Can. I can. I can. Ten I chapters. Can. I can. Do you really want to entertain this clown? Yes. I, I can't stop anyone. Right. No, no. Why are you going to entertain clowns when we're having a reasonable intellectual discussion? So, sister, 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 excuse me. Uh, excuse me, sister. Um, can someone take the sister to one side, if you don't mind? Sister, if you don't mind, sister, if you want to just, we're having a discussion, right? Thank you. The Quran challenges, if people are, if people are doubtful, Brother, yes, yes, yes. if people yes. are doubtful yes. as to yes. the Quran yes. being a revelation yes. from God, yes. Quran yes. challenges yes. them yes. to bring yes. a chapter yes. like okay. on the Quran. Yes. Why is it that people have tried and, and trying and they failed and failing? Why? Okay, good. As I'm saying the Quran, the Quran challenges people with a falsification test. And it says, and it says, if you are in doubt as to what, as what, do you want to tell the clowns to stop? I have no power over people here. You can tell me. No, it's just a request. Right. So the Quran challenges people to bring a surah like, like unto the Quran. Yes, I can. Right. I can. Do you know what the Quran is like? Do you know what the Quran is like? It doesn't matter. Look, you ask the criteria for what the Quran is like. I've just given you the criteria. What is it? Okay, let me try again. Let's see whether you missed it. Let me try once again. I have given it, but I'll give you once again. But let's see whether you get it. Bring something like it. That's the question I'm asking. Do you know? Do you know what the Quran is like? The Quran is self-explanatory when it's recited to an audience when they first heard it, they automatically distinguished and understood the difference between the speech of the Arab poets, the soothsayers, the statements of the Prophet himself, his companions, and the Arabs themselves in their ordinary speech. So now we are talking about Quran coming in the form of a linguistic genre, listen to me carefully, which is unlike the statements of the Prophet, his speech, 
statements of the companions, their speech, the poets and their poetry and their poetical literature, the statements of the Quran, the soothsayers and their statements, basically every form of literature in the Arabic language known at that time. The Quran was unlike all of that. And how was that unlike? Because in its composition, the Quran came with. When the Quran says, bring something like it, let me give you an example of a chapter, right? Let me give you an example how the Quran is unlike. They will appreciate. Yeah. But let's, let me give you, so, so you appreciate what I'm talking about. Give me a verse, give me a verse. If you allow no, a chapter. No, in English. In so English. when the Quran starts a chapter like Surah Al-Fatiha, right, in English, we in would English, expect English, Surah Al-Fatiha yeah, to be unlike the yeah. speech of right. the poets and so on and so in forth, English. right? Yeah, but let him so, speak, man. Let him speak, man. Yeah, He's in English. With him and he's explaining English. in English. In English. In English. In English. So how Brother, does Fatiha start? Right. So, Fatiha starts, Bismillah no, 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 Let me, let, the Quran never says being a verse like it. The challenge is, the challenge, the challenge is, every chapter is a miracle. Every chapter is unimitable. What do you mean by miracle? What? You, just, you just said every chapter is every verse. Hang on, hang on. Let me tell you what I, what I mean. Different definitions I'm different asking you, man. It's it's your yeah, I will explain. I will explain. You just said yes. To I will explain. Chapter, I'm explaining. Okay, go on. When the Quran says, Fatu bi suratin min mithlihi, bring a chapter like unto itself. So the Quran, the Quran tells you. The tahaddi or the miracle, the ijaz. The ijaz of the Quran, the miracle of the Quran is the inimitability of anyone bringing anything like a chapter or ten chapters, like a whole book. If the no, I'm okay. explaining to you what the nature of the challenge okay. is. If someone, a scientist, tells you, there is, this is my, this is, this is my theory. You cannot just bring and say, oh, why not this? Why not that? A scientist will tell you what the theory is and how to falsify it. The Quran said, a chapter, a surah. So the whole Quran is a miracle. Wait, wait, wait. But not several verses a miracle. Look. You are deflecting from the very challenge of the Quran. I'm just trying to find out how low does the miracle go? It stops the it chapter, stops the, cha the Quranic chapter, chapter yeah, stops. is a Watch thematic whole, a unity. Yeah. So the Quran challenges to bring people a chapter which is unity I in its thematic form. Technically, a human could bring 90% of every chapter of the Quran. Um, what the challenge... Um, what you're saying is, you are God. not interested in the challenge itself. Instead, no, the that. challenge is... Okay, okay. Can, okay. can I ask you a simple question? No, don't, don't if, we, if human beings are able to bring 90% of every chapter, what prevents human beings to get or bring 100% of a small chapter I like have, freelance? I have, I have, yeah, look, so I can, have. can you ask my question? Oh, I have, yes. So, man, man, if, if can you answer my question? Right humans can't bring a chapter have, because a chapter is a miracle. Can a human bring 90% of a chapter? Can't I'm asking you, why is it? So, so, ah, so every verse is a miracle. Yes. So every he's verse. deflecting, okay. he's oh, deflecting yeah, the yeah, challenge. That a minute ago. No, no, no. Every verse no. Is a miracle. Look, yeah. the problem. Is every verse a miracle? The, the prob yes. Look. Yes. 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 Okay, so is every, is every phrase a miracle? Every word's a miracle. Yes. 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 Yeah, Ikhwan, why are you falling in this deflection? Exactly. Well, they're all the answering me. The yeah. Yeah. Because you are, you are being so yeah. insincere. And true. Why don't you go now? Just go. Just, just go. Enough of vitamin D for you two. Enough of vitamin D. So now, those of you who are sincere, brother, sister, if you don't mind, okay? Brother, come here. I just want to. We are not. Subhanallah. I don't know why some sisters think they have to point to me. You know, find your own platform. No problem. Speak a corner. With no disrespect. So those of you who are listening quite sincerely, I just want to make this point clear. When the Quran challenges people to bring a chapter like unto it, it's a falsification test. And shaitan accepts the challenge. It's a falsification test. 
and he why revelation in the why are christians so insecure in their belief and they're not even allowing muslims to articulate a falsification test which could potentially falsify islam would you not want to hear that there is a falsification test if you apply that and you make it true then the quran islam will be false you can falsify it you need to hear it so the quranic challenge is bring a quran like into it well if you can't do that bring 10 chapters like into it if you can't do that bring a chapter one single chapter into it you said brother one chapter of three lines is that how small a single chapter is so why is it that this gentleman who we were speaking earlier he says maybe we can bring 90 percent why can you not bring 100 percent of a small chapter